Hi. Let's take a look on Dramulator Drum Machine with specific banking option and it allows to switch in from factory bank to custom banks and basically we have additional free custom banks and uh, the way we are doing that that's not a switching by bank that's a switching by EPROMs so I'm going to demonstrate how I did it and just to provide basic guidance how you can use it so first of all you may see the number of switches here and there is two switches for ROM A, two for ROM B, two for ROM C, and two for ROM D. And what does it mean, actually? Uh, so, <clears throat> let's take a look inside Dramulator. And uh, you may see that two switches are going directly to EEPROM. There are no any additional boards, like we have an Angel Copper Kit, or something like that. So and basically EPROMs are used there. They're just a four times more capacity than you have in the original one, and that means you can put four banks <coughs> in each EPROM. So, for instance, uh, we have bank one. That's original bank. That's original factory bank. We have a bank two. That is a rock kit. Really common one. You may hear it on many records. There is Bank 3. Bank 3 that's a special bank I did from my Fairlight and that's amazing bank having classic sounds from Fairlight and there is Bank 4. Bank 4 it's a custom bank and it has more dense type of kicks, snares and hats um, you may see in a classic dance music and electronic music. Really good one and fat one and each bank it has four ROMs so because we have four four EPROMs in the kit so it has four ROMs and the way uh, Dramulator allocated ROMs is really interesting because well for instance ROM A it has only right sound ROM B it has two toms sound high tom and low tom ROM C has hats open and close hats it has snare it has click and ROM D it has again big tom sound, bass drum sound, uh, rim, clap and cowbell. So uh, now moving back. <coughs> now let's power on machine and I'm going to demonstrate just, just a factory bank. So factory bank it's bank number one as I said and it uses the location number one on each ROM and basically by uh, using these two switches on each ROM we can do the combination of four different ROMs and what does it mean actually? Uh, uh, the main benefits of that that you can do that switching independently so that means that for instance I can use a snare from bank one from ROM C first location and I can use the bass drum bass drum for instance from bank 2 so let's take a look I, how I can do that so yes that's a snare from original bank bank C and it's in default location now I'm switching bank D to location number 1 and well that's original one So, well, that, that's a big benefit, that I'm not just switching the banks, I'm switching the different EPROMs in each bank. And for instance, if I want to switch to bank 2 completely, so that means I have to put all switch position to position number 1. So that's a DigiRock kit. And for instance, if I want to go to Fairlight kit, that's a bank number 3, so that means... So that's bank number three. So that, that's a real fair light kit that I captured from, from my fair light machine. And what is actually bank four? Bank four, it doesn't have a, 
I don't know, basic sounds like a tom hat. It just has a selected sounds and there are a lot of ba bass drum in that bank, for instance. There is a bass drum located to, to both toms. There is bass drum located to click or bass drum located to rim. Let's take a look how I did it. So, uh, switching completely to bank 4 and So you may hear two different snares and on clave we also have a bass drum that's a right and that's a great electronic sound. And well, and as I said, we can combine these sounds by actually by banks and to make a selection, for instance, uh, that's a bass drum from custom kit and snare drum from original uh, factory kit, or for instance, from from Fairlight Kit. So, all I did, I did manually, and basically the OS version I have on this Dremulator machine, that's, uh, that's OS free, so that means it has a MIDI compatibility, and it has a MIDI kit installed here, it's right here, and it has a DIN socket for MIDI, it's there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just enabling the MIDI and to enter to a MIDI mode I have to press external clock and simultaneously run stop. So the display is off right now and that means I can use my MIDI. And again, benefits of using the MIDI with Dremulator machine that you have velocity, you have velocity for each sound and you have up to 14 levels of different velocities if I remember that. So that's it, that's amazing Dremulator machine with custom uh, bank switching and with really good sets of sounds for this machine. Thank you.